His dream was to become a pilot, but now he's got a degree in education psychology. However, 29 years old Onijazani has continued with his passion to fly by producing homemade drones. Mr. Zani, who uses local material, has gone to obtain a license as a drone pilot and is now appealing for support for his homemade drones to be certified. We can actually manufacture our own drones here in Zambia if we utilize our own resources, natural resources that we have, to better more have a, an environment that's well protective uh, and also secured with innovation that we're having from natural resources. So from the government, uh, this is a... This is not a, an idea, but it's something that's doable and achievable. Mr. Zani has witnessed first-hand potential of his drones to address various societal challenges. Zambia is passing through a challenge uh, of climate change. And also apart from that, also we had uh, floods uh, in Zambia uh, early last year and also we have no rains. So with these drones, we can help to map the nation of Zambia, knowing that um, the last mapping that was done, it was in 1960. As the country commemorates Youth Day, the youth drone pilot has some encouraging words for the youths across the country. Um, we youths are the power and the drive of Zambia. Knowing that Zambia is a young population, implying that majority of the, of the population are youths, we have the power to change the future. Uh, knowing that we can have skilled talents that are a billion dollar worth. As Zambia seeks to harness the transformative power of emerging technologies, Young innovators like Onija Zani with talent are seeking for support so that they can contribute to the country's economic development. Mark Ziligone, ZNBC.